Hey Taurus, it's Star with Eyes of the Stars Tarot. This is your November reading. So we're going to do a different spread this time. I'm kind of bored with the Celtic Cross. So let's get started, Taurus. What's going on with you guys? Or with us guys? <laughs> Alright, let's see. I'm going to do more shuffling. Because I do like to... It helps to channel the energy a little bit better. So let's see where you are right now, Taurus. Let's take both of them. So we have two eights here. I feel like you guys have been trying to keep busy because there's there's something that you have on your mind or you're very much focused on work. It's like you can't get, get off work or something. There's a lot of work going on. Okay, now the other person, the person that you're dealing with is feeling stuck. Or this could be you, okay? This could be vice versa. You could be feeling stuck, and the other person feels like they have too many responsibilities, uh, too much work to do, they can't get away, they're, they feel like their hands are tied. But there is this energy of stagnancy on both sides. Not being able to move forward. Being stuck in a cycle going round and round and round and round yeah so the challenge has actually been either keeping a connection or making the connection so there is a, a, a connect a chemistry connection between you and another person but there's something you see there's unfinished business here there is a karmic cycle that has not been able to end um, or it's it's been going on for a while that's why for me eights are always for whatever reason I don't know but for me eights when there's a lot of eights or you know something like that I I automatically feel that it has something to do with a karmic cycle and that is definitely what I feel here it's been a difficult connection between you and another person a relationship that has been stagnant there's unfinished business there you guys weren't able to complete what you or you didn't get closure maybe this is just your perception that you didn't get closure so let's see what each of you wants from this relationship right now okay So someone wants clarity. The other person just wants to move on. They just see this as a lost cause. Um, and the other person wants either closure or clarity on the matter. Okay, yeah. I do feel there is going to be, let me see, we have the Page of Swords reverse. Yeah, I, I feel there's going to be action taken. There's, there's, there is going to be either someone's going to try to reach out uh, and perhaps they will be blocked. So whoever this is, either it's you or it's the other person, you know, perhaps the other person is going to try to reach out to you. But it's like, no, it's too late or something of that nature. Let's see. Wisdom. I definitely feel that someone here um, feels very much bogged down by uh, an enormous amount of responsibility, uh, you know, that requires a lot of work and dedication and time. 
And so they felt like, you know, there's, what else can I do? I have all of these responsibilities. I don't, maybe they felt that they didn't have the time to spend, um, you know, with this relationship. We have solar, yeah, solar plexus chakra and balance. So they were having challenges balancing um, work and romantic relationships. There were there were some challenges in in being able to do both, or um, seeing the importance of doing both. Even not, it may not have been something that they weren't able to do. It's just there wasn't an awareness that you know that was also something of importance. Okay, see, for the other person, which I feel is you, I feel you're on this side. Um, and I actually did Capricorn's reading, and I kind of felt the same thing, That, which is strange because when I was laying them out, I kind of... Anyway, I digress. <laughs> so on this side here, we have that heart chakra. So yeah, um, Taurus, you may have felt like we have awareness and we have rest and rejuvenate. You may have felt like you didn't get anywhere in this relationship. You couldn't get anywhere. It never took off. Um, you needed closure. It's like, did this person even have feelings for me? I feel like that, even that is, is very much you're in the dark okay but there is something else that you needed to realize or learn or understand and it it it, it was only able to happen through having this period of stagnancy where where you didn't get what you wanted but there was something else more important maybe that that you needed to learn or that you needed to have the opportunity to reflect upon okay so I do feel like there's something here that you needed to learn about your own heart your own desires your own emotions okay and this person also had a lesson to learn with with regards to I feel this person is very much self-absorbed um, and just in their heads constantly in their heads but but definitely self-absorbed and more focused on the material realm whereas you are more focused on emotions and and even like spirituality okay so both of you in a way this this break or this um stagnancy or the this the fact that this relationship didn't work out the way you wanted somehow it brought about and and that's exactly what karmic relationships are so I do feel like somehow you brought about these lessons that you needed to, to learn, both of you. Let's see here. We have the third eye chakra with the lover's reverse. Okay, we have destiny with the with the world card so again um, there is this uh, it's a 10 um, but and there is this sense of you know a cycle it was your destiny to meet this person and to have this cycle with them to learn the lessons that needed to be learned um, they are you know sort of a soulmate I don't know that they're the type of soulmate that is supposed to stick around because it really doesn't look that way it looks like you just needed to learn something with this person um, it was going to uncover an, a, another side of you or just things that were in your heart maybe dormant that needed to be exposed again and that's what that purpose was um, this person I feel they are waking up to the fact that they had an opportunity with you that they missed out on 
it's like they they are recognizing you as a soulmate they're they're recognizing that that chemistry between the two of you not that they didn't feel it before but they're kind of recognizing how impactful the relationship with you was even though it never really feels like it ended up being much but it was impactful one way or another so they do see this as a missed opportunity with you let's see this case of pentacles reverse i feel like both of you recognize each other as a soulmate but you may also recognize that it's not meant to be a long-term thing recognition and reward yeah you see they're they're now but look at this card i mean it doesn't really it's like got his head down so it's like they gained some awareness but it, it it was it was a disappointment to have this um realization to recognize what this was because it's already past tense so they've already lost it Okay, we have the seven of cups reverse with intuition so Taurus I do feel that you guys have been waiting for closure in this situation you have felt like there was something that was left undone with this person maybe something that you weren't able to say to them or express you know like maybe feelings that you had for them maybe you felt like you just wanted to get that off your chest and you never were able to um, or you wanted to hear what they felt about you. It, it, it's, I'm getting the sense that you're, you know, you're thinking, it, did I imagine what happened? You know what I mean? Like this didn't go anywhere. Like, was it all fake? Did I imagine it? Um, but I do feel that your intuition is going to be telling you what the truth is. Okay. Uh, with regards to this person. Let's see. So what you can expect to be happening. Okay, we have Prosperity Begins with this Eight of Cups. Firm Foundations Rejoice in Celebrations. Now on the other side, we have the Four of Cups Reverse with Shadow. Sacral Chakra. Mm. Heartache and Loss. And we have the universe so the universe it would be that world card um, so I do feel that you are going to have an opportunity to make contact with this person but I do feel like it is a spiritual test again um, putting you in situation similar to where you were in the past with this person to see whether or not you are going to choose wisely are you going to learn from your mistakes or are you going to learn from um, even if they're not really mistakes are you going to learn from your past experience and be able to graduate out of the cycle that you're in with this person um, <clears throat> yeah I, I I feel like somebody is not communicating but they want to communicate they definitely want to but it's 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 a holding back it's a hiding you know they may be watching or you may be watching them but there, there's definitely a, a desire to communicate in this situation um, so each of you feels like there's something that you have this sense this 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 knowing this inner knowing that this is destiny that you guys were meant to meet each other and make this connection because there's something some spiritual connection between the two of you that needs to be resolved a karmic debt that needs to be resolved now 
I feel like both of you have been through a lot separately. <clears throat> um, and now is when there is this uh, clearing, clearing of sorts of, of, of the fog that's been around this connection. There's been a lot of fog, of, a lot of confusion, um, not knowing where you stand with each other, or how each other feels. Um, and But the thing is that this other person before, or it could be you, so vice versa, however this resonates for you, the, the, the energies can be vice versa. So I feel like um, this person was so focused on themselves before that they wouldn't even maybe give you the time to, to look up and see what they had in front of them, what you were offering, because there was an offering before. But they were too involved or self-absorbed. There was no balance there. They, they were, their mind was occupied on building assets, on material things, on their image. There was a lot of conflict in their mind. And so they didn't have the time to, to even recognize what this connection was. They didn't want to take that time. But now there is that recognition that, oh crap, I missed out on this opportunity with Taurus or you're feeling this way and there is clarity coming there is some kind of communication or um, I feel like there's going to be an opportunity to revisit the situation and it's really important that you use your intuition because that will never steer, steer you wrong your intuition will never steer you wrong so I do get the sense, and we are in a Mercury retrograde, we, we know that, we, we're going to be this way for, <clears throat> I would say, just all of November, because I think it ends on the 20th, but there's still that shadow period, so I would say all of November, and I do feel like <clears throat> someone had walked away, I feel like they are coming back, there's going to be an offer here with prosperity and new beginnings, rejoice and celebration, there's going to be a reunion, and I feel like this person now wants to fix the situation where they missed out on an opportunity or maybe just didn't make an offer and I feel like they're coming with that offer this is that ace of pentacles here they want to come back together and, and make an offer but I don't feel that you're going to take the offer because this is a rejection of that offer this is like a recognition that hey yeah they're, you're great and everything but I also have seen your dark side um, I, you know, there's a sense here that <clears throat> this person before, it's like they didn't see your value. They, they didn't really see you as someone who should be in their life or could be in their life. And they completely ignored because this energy feels so so powerful here that <clears throat> I feel they ignored it and so you felt very hurt by that or there was a sense of rejection here and needing to rest because of your heart chakra and make sense of all of this so so yeah you were very much attracted to this person but I, I feel that it was a very passionate attraction here but I feel that that led you it was lust, this lustful energy that led you to have to endure some heartbreak. Okay, there you got very much um, involved with this person and you see both sides of it now. Now it's not, you know, you're, you're not seeing them as this Ten of Cups anymore, this just the, the rose colored glasses thing that was never fulfilled. They never fulfilled that role for you. This is supposed to be like your soulmate, you know, your 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 happy place, your person, and they never, you know, fulfilled that role that 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 was never completed, and so you see the dark side of that lust and and where that took you, and and you don't want any part of it anymore. I, I do feel like there is a sense of the two of you now completing, and that's that another eight. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like 
something here is going to be completing finally, be, but you're coming back together. So there's going to be that new opportunity to finally cut the cord and complete this karmic cycle that has been going on. Okay, so that's what I have there for you. Let's move on to finance and career. All right, Taurus. I love this deck. This is the everyday, everyday tarot. It's just that they're so huge. I wish they made them in, you know, like a hand size. All right, Taurus. We have the page of coins. Wow, so new opportunities here. Three of Coins Reverse, Knight of Blades, Seven of Blades Reverse, Chariot, Seven of Wands. Let's see. I don't know if you're getting news that someone is losing their job or have has lost their job because um, there was <clears throat> deceit or something. Yeah, um, Page of Cups reverse, Three of Cups. I feel this is somebody uh, related to you, around you. Let me see. It's like a third party. So, but somehow this is affecting you. Let's say. Let's see. Three of Swords. Huh. Yeah, I feel that this is something news about somebody around you. A co-worker. There's a loss of, of uh, like they lose their job or something like that. But it's it's like, um, let's say it's a business partner or some a co-worker that you have. They lose their job and then you get the news like, oh, now you have to do all their work, you know, so it's bad news for you. But for some reason, yeah, I, I'm getting that. Let's see. So Knight of Blades, we have the 10, no, what is this? Nine of Pentacles reverse. Knight of Blades with the Knight, Nine of Pentacles reverse. A loss, a financial loss. There's there's news of a financial loss, a loss of a job. <clears throat> yeah, something clarity comes. There's there's definitely news, but it's not good news, unfortunately. Eight of Cups, walking away. Yeah, somebody is walking away from a job or career. If for some of you, it could, it could be a child. Your child lost their job or quit their job, and maybe they're wanting to move in with you now. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Seven of Blades, Seven of Swords, Reverse. Three of Wands. Four of yeah, somebody was doing either something illegal or or they were cheating some kind of way in their job and they got caught. It came came to light, and it's causing some some harsh consequences. And somehow this is affecting you, or this could be you. So be careful this month and don't do anything you know that you shouldn't do because I, I do feel that. There's going to be some disappointment. I'm kind of getting this as your energy. So for some of you, this is like your child, your your children. No, your child. It would be one child doing this. Somehow they do something deceitful or illegal or something like that. And there's, there's huge disappointment. 
because now they've lost their stability. But I, I feel like there's um, an opportunity to overcome this. We have the strength card reversed with that chariot. The world reverse. Four of Wands. the moon. So this may be happening, um, the clarity may be coming around the, the full moon in Taurus that we have coming up here in November. Um, yes, I definitely feel this is causing, there's news coming toward you that, that's going to cause some worry. Um, I feel this may be, you know, conflict. As a result of conflict, someone has conflict in the workplace or there's uh, deceit involved here. Maybe somebody's deceiving you. But it, it's causing conflict and it's causing someone to lose their job. Or in, in some cases, I feel like this is not you per se, but it affects you. So it could be something happening here around to somebody around you, a family member, a child, like I said. Um... But what I will say is that this is going to cause quite a bit of disruption, but it's going to inspire someone to, to push through, you know, to be more forceful, to, to put in more effort because they've just lost their stability, their sense of peace, their sense of comfort, you know, it's like having to fight for that again. And, you know, through that, finding new opportunities. Yeah, see, we have the Page of Coins, the Ace of Coins. So out of something that is, yeah, look, Nine of Swords reverse. I mean, I'm sorry, Ten of Swords reverse, Nine of Swords reverse. So, yeah, the worries go away. Then they, there is a resolution coming because out of, out of this shakeup come new opportunities that maybe wouldn't have happened had everything you know turned out okay you know what i mean like if there weren't this this whole shit show that's going on here um it's kind of hard to see i'm not gonna lie this this message is kind of fuzzy but basically the gist of it is there's going to be news that someone is losing their job because of something that was revealed a revelation a deceit maybe someone de deceived them set them up who knows or you but it just inspires you or somebody around you to just push forward and, and, and overcome all of this. And it brings about new beginnings and, and new opportunities. So you end up winning in the end is what I see here. Um, so, yeah, good news, Taurus. All right, guys, I'll see you for the mid-months. Bye.